What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And I'm back with a new hairstyle. So we're gonna get all up into what this is, how this is all going. But the main thing I wanna talk to you guys about today is why I got rid of my locks. So if you've been following my channel for a little bit and you saw my last video, you'll know that I recently just took my locks down. So I went ahead and combed them out. I had them for a good little minute and I enjoyed every minute and every moment of them. But I was ready for a change. So we already discussed how I did that in the last video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the cards up here or in the description box below and you can check that out. But today I just wanted to kind of just give a little bit more in-depth information as to why I went ahead and did this in the first place. I had locks for about two and a half years. I started them from comb coils. I had like every single hairstyle you can imagine before I decided to get locks. I'd had texturizers, I'd had faux hawks, I'd had close cuts, I'd had afros, I'd had a little bit of everything, but I never really gave my chance, given my hair a chance to see what it could do and how well it could grow and everything like that by just leaving it alone. I really wanted to see how long I could actually grow my hair and really experiment with my hair being just in its most natural state possible and letting it grow and see what could happen. I went into the salon, I got the comb coils, and from there it just progressed. And I had my locks from September 2014 up until February of 2017. So almost three years, about two and a half. So why did I go ahead and get rid of my locks? Well, a couple reasons. The first being is that I'm a really indecisive person. I like to experiment with different looks. I like to try out different styles. And for me, locks just wasn't giving me the versatility that I was looking for anymore. I finally got to a point where I could do ponytails and I could do braids and curls and all types of stuff like that, but I really missed having loose natural hair. I kind of missed the process of brushing and combing my hair each day and doing something different to it. Some people don't like that. I'm kind of extra and I'm really kind of a tedious person. Having loose natural hair gives me that type of, a little bit more freedom to really be a little more experimental. Another thing for me was just making sure I kept my hair in an overall healthy state. Something I noticed with me with having locks was that my front, like the front portion of my hair right around here um, was starting to get a little bit thin. And that's because like my locks were kind of just a little heavy in the front. The locks were a little too heavy, I felt, for myself. My hair in this middle region of my head is a totally different hair texture than the rest of my hair. When I first got my comb coils, this hair would not lock at all. The hair would be so springy and just coil back on itself, it would never like elongate and hang down. But if I, you know, stretch the coil out, it'd come down to here, but it wouldn't stay there. It would spring right back up to here. In order to kind of give my locks a little bit more of a manicured look and to kind of make everything the same size and shape, I had to get lock extensions in the front. I had several different sets of lock extensions. I had to play around with how thick they were, how long they were going to be, how heavy they were, and all that in the third. And they were great for the time being. They gave me that look that I wanted and they kind of just made everything kind of symmetrical with my hair. The only downside for me is that Every time I would get a retwist, my hair would grow very quickly. My hair grows very fast. So the hair up here would grow, and it would, which is great, but it would just make my locks look really thin and kind of, I just didn't like the look of it. All right, the third thing for me is that sleeping with dreadlock styles for me is very uncomfortable. Actually, sleeping with any kind of style in my head is uncomfortable for me. I don't know if any of y'all have tried it, but sleeping with braided dreadlock cornrows is not the most comfortable thing at all. All right, so I really wanna to talk to you guys about the style that I have in my head right now. Um, I'm really enjoying doing like the kind of braided kind of bun looks right now with my hair, especially because I have a taper on the sides and also on the back side of my head and I kind of like that. So I wanna keep doing that for a little bit. Um, and I just honestly don't know how to handle my hair at this point in time right now. I have to relearn how to you know, manage and manipulate 
loose natural hair because I've actually never had this much hair on my head before at one time ever. I tried to wash my hair and do like a twist out and all this other stuff one time before and it came out a mess. So until I learn how to do all this, I'm still going to be visiting my loctician who actually is a natural hairstylist. So he's doing all this stuff for me about every three weeks when I go ahead and wash my hair and everything. I'm going to get him to kind of put in a style, do something that I can manage until I kind of learn how to do all this myself. So let's get into the style real quick. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all the complete 360. So this is the front. I have two twists in the front and they go back up to the middle then here's the side I have a single braid going around the side and what it looks like in the back and it's pretty much the same on both sides so I'm really feeling like these braided bun styles right now I think they really look good on me i hope so I, that's what i think i think they look good on me i enjoy the way that they come out and they're really easy to take care of i don't really have to do much to my hair at all i just spray some oil sheen or um some of my coconut oil or black castor oil just to like massage on like my temples and just to get in between my parts and everything like that and then just make sure my face is in order and we're good to go like i said before i'm probably going to keep doing styles like this until I learn how to properly manage my hair the way that I want to. And honestly, until I have the time to really sit down and get as intricate and as in depth with my hairstyles as I would like to. I can't braid or anything like that. So to get styles like this, I'm still gonna have to go to my hairstylist and he's gonna have to do all that for me. Um, but other little things I'm, I'm really working on, I'm working on trying to do twist outs and wash and goes and all types of stuff like that. So you'll be seeing more of that as this journey continues along. Every day I'm just kind of seeing where it goes from here and just enjoying the ride. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the ride with me. Like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to be trying out some different hairstyles. I'll probably do a lot of trial and errors and you'll see that, but that's why I'm on here. So we can learn this together. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.